Hey there, Akuma fans. Charlie with the Gossiker Application staff. Here we are, back at the old grind. We're today working on an LT machine, collision avoidance function. We want to learn about the auto set feature. What in the world is the auto set feature, Charlie? Don't lose us on this one. The auto set feature is a... Uh, it's the ability of the computer to look at the offset that a tool has, the physical offset that you picked up either by cutting the part or by touching off the tool setter, and positioning the graphic in space so that it matches that offset value. Well, that sounds really, really stinking cool. So the first thing we want to do, I'm going to come over to my tool data tab and you see I'm already halfway through my uh, my process here of uh, setting tools. I've got my block imported, that was covered in a previous video. I've got my tools imported, that was also Im uh, covered in a previous video. I have set them at, to in reverse so that they're oriented in the proper fashion. But now I've got to deal with the projection amount. Now previously we talked about several different ways of setting the uh, the orientation in space. Obviously this is not the way it's, the tool is physically mounted in the machine. If it were, I'd do a facing cut just fine, but when I go to turn an OD I'd wipe out my coolant nozzle right there. So we know we didn't physically put the tool in like this. So the manual method for explaining how far out this tool is sticking will be to grab a scale, the tail of a caliper, a tape measure, whatever it was, figure out exactly physically how far the tip is from this datum and then we would just answer we'd input that amount in the projection amount column so let's say it was uh, oh I don't know 1.375 when I put that in boom it moved the tool out to where it physically is in space the downside of this is that well scales tape measures even calipers they're not going to be exactly accurate plus I had to do some work and uh, I'm allergic to work doggone it so let's make the computer work for us instead of the other way around in the previous videos I had you leaving the tool edge position sync at do not uh, uh, recap what the tool edge position sync is is the ability for the uh, for the software to automatically, when you register the tool, move the graphic of the tool in relationship to the block based on the, uh, the offset. Let's go ahead and change that over to do. And now we know that this will move when we register the tool or change the offset. Let's do the same thing for the extended tool two. We will change the setting, set that to do. Okay, now here's the problem that uh, I'm sure some of you have already experienced. I'm back to tool number one. This F4 auto set button will go ahead and position this tool right now in relation to the datum. If I touch auto set, watch what happens. Uh oh, what in the world? Do the same thing for number two. Okay, let's do change settings, auto set. Boom. What in the world happened? Okay, here's the, uh, here's the short answer. The factory will not automatically set a, uh, the calibration point for you. They're not sure when they put this machine together exactly what you're going to call your machine X0. Also the same with your machine Z0. So we have to set that so that uh, our machine setup is accurate. It's positioning the tool at X0 being the center of the turret. Okay, center of the turret and the, uh, the center of the block. If we were to change settings and move this tip distance down to zero, you would see that uh, it's right at the center of the, of the, uh, the tooling block. So what we need to do is we need to express to the machine where our reference datum is. We're going to do that in easy modeling. If you're not sure how to get there, those of you with OSP Suite, you've got the vertical function keys, just touch the dollar sign and that will get you to the page that people without OSP Suite have. We want the OSP button and touch easy modeling. As we've covered in a bunch of these videos, 
this is the library where we're storing all of our solids. However, it also stores the parameters for what we've decided is the datum of our uh, uh, collision avoidance system. F6, set options. Bet you haven't used that one yet. Let's do it. If I touch set options, I get a whole new set of soft keys. And now I need to set my reference tool, F4. When I call that up, first question is, okay, which turret are you working on? Right now we're doing turret A. This process is exactly the same for turret B. So I won't bore you to tears by going through that. Next question, set position X. This wants to know where is the mounting point of the uh, turret. If I came up to my, my technical manual straight from Akuma, I can find that, okay, that mounting surface is from here to here, and Akuma lays that out as 8.27 inches. Now, I am going to shortcut this to show you the second way. I could just key in minus 8.27, or I could use F3 set tool number. Now this is by using the automatic function, it is assuming that I have already set my X zero and set a reference tool. So let's take our set tool number. It's tool number one. Yep, that's the one we wanted. So I click on okay and boom, it automatically populated 8.2677 in the negative direction. And that's, um, that is about two thou and three tenths smaller than the the print dimension. So this is going to be a little more accurate to the kinematics of my machine. Next is the reference tool X. They want to know what is the diff distance from the mounting surface to whatever I used to calibrate my touch setter. In this case, uh, well, as most of the applications guys in the field will do, we will set the machine X zero to be one of two things. It'll either be the center of a boring bar block or it'll be the center of rotation of a live tool. So you'll need to know what your machine is set to prior to this step. I'll touch the reference tool X and notice now I've got F4 select holder. If I've already defined that holder, I can just select which one I used to set my machine zero. In my case, it was this boring bar block. Now we do wanna make sure that the graphic is accurate. Don't pick up uh, a velocity holder if you're using uh, uh, somebody else's brand. So we wanna make sure that this graphic is correct. I know mine is, so I'll touch it and say, okay, and yep, extended tool number one still, there it is, reference tool X. That is the distance on a diametrical value from this mounting point to the center of rotation of that, uh, uh, the center of the bore. Next, we have turret width. I'm gonna leave that alone. The factory is pretty good about setting that. Next, we have spindle one, the tip position in X. This is any deviation from this number to where I have calibrated my touch setter. Now in my case, because I used the boring bar block, that guy right there, I know that my tip position for X should be zero. It's right at that center of rotation, so I don't need to modify that. However, my Z is different. I don't wanna have to calculate this. So I know that my tool number one, my reference tool has already been calibrated. It's good to go. So I'll just touch set tool number, make sure that registration number one, that's tool number one, edge number one is set. And I'll say, okay, now it populated based on the offset where my tip position is relative to the center of the turret. Spindle two, I'll do the same thing, set tool number. But now this time I wanna make sure that I change this to edge number two, because as we covered in previous videos, I'm making my left spindle edge number one and my right spindle edge number two and say, okay. And it automatically populated its distance from turret center to the um, tip of the tool. Okay, now we are all set. 
going to come back over here and we know this is all jacked up but if I do my change settings and I do an auto set bunk now my tool is exactly in the right spot let's go back over to tool number one do the same thing we are going to change settings auto set boom now they're in position okay okay register yes now let's look at my collision avoidance there it is so now that we've got that all set up let's see how it affects future tools let's go over to our tool data page make the tool data tab and create a whole new tool tool register we'll call this tool number 15 turret a let's make a solid drill and this is going to be a lathe drill not a milling drill edge number one we're using it in the first spindle we'll set this to offset ah, let's put it in tool position five now we'll do our tool holder select select holder there's our inside base select tool drill 0.5 now I didn't make a bushing here doesn't really matter uh, for my case but obviously you want to be accurate if you are uh, using a collet to hold on to this notice that I am not going to put any kind of extension in this and okay, any kind of protrusion go to change settings my projection amount is set to zero but my tool edge position sync is set to do and the reason for that is that I have already mounted this tool in the machine. I've touched it off the touch setter. Its offset is accurate, even though the graphic is not. So now I'll just say, okay, I'll register, yes. Now let's attach it to the turret. We're gonna go over to our detail unmount. There's our tool. We will attach that in position number five. There we go. Now remember that I did not put in a protrusion amount, however, Boom, look, it moved the tool out based on the tool offset. Let's go back to our offset and change that a little bit. Go back to the detail of tool number five. There it is, it's way in the heck up there. So let's set that at, oh, let's say it is uh, 1.5. Now the offset has been corrected. So now if I get into my tool data, the drill, holder tool select, change setting and now let's auto set this thing that looks a little more like it say okay okay register yes and now do -dum -dum, there we go we've got a drill this exact process will also work on the sub spindle just a little footnote if you're using a U machine that's the type with the uh, B axis spindle on top instead of a turret that one is generally already set simply because it knows where the uh, basis of tool mount is whereas the turret the lower turret will not so you'll want to follow this procedure hey i hope this helps you out and if you have any questions feel free to like subscribe and uh, create a comment on the video or reach out to your local gossiger application staff we're always happy to help thanks and have a great day